control. But thanks to new legal loopholes, you don't have to take it anymore. Just listen to one of my clients. Yeah, do you want to trade your baloney for my tuna? So I said her good. I'll help you stand up for your rights with teachers, too. Mrs. Green was always calling on me in class, and I took her to court, and she was crying, and now she doesn't come to school anymore. Call me, Patrick L. Bender, at 555-KIDS for a free estimate. That's 555-K-I-D-S. Remember, even though you can't spell litigious, you can still take the law into your own grubby little hands. Researchers will be revealing the true source of procrastination later this week, perhaps on Facebook or Twitter. Warning, four crazed men have made their way into the studio. They're said to be dressed in security guard uniforms. If you spot one of these men, please report their location to the nearest security guard. Service is what creates customer loyalty, and we're willing to stand on our heads to keep you coming back. In fact, we'll stand on our heads, then do cartwheels. We'll juggle. We'll ride unicycles. We'll ride unicycles while twirling plates on the ends of sticks. Anything to show you that you're number one. We'll wear funny hats. We'll cover ourselves in your choice of delicious ice cream toppings and light our hair on fire. We'll hire you a band. We'll repaint your house. We'll introduce you to Mr. Robert De Niro. We'll have attractive young people of your sexual preference and feed you grapes and fan. Wackers and stern. Totally committed. The young man you. then shot up a warning flare and sent up smoke signals. He was later penalized for excessive end zone celebration. He may still be fined by the league, but as of today, there has been no word whether or not... Okay, we've got one contestant. Let's get moving, people. Sure, yeah. 30 seconds to air. Hey, it's me, uh, Johnny. Unfortunately, this game is broken, and, uh... So is your computer. I think it has a viral. Yes, I'd throw your computer away if I were you. I'm just kidding. It's really me, Donnie. I was just trying to hoodlink you at being April Fool's Day and all. I hope I didn't cause you any constipation. I actually have the utmost respect for you. Now, would you care to hear the instructions? Check the breakout box and see if the mini cable's connected. <laughs> Not a problem. This player has it down packed, ready to go. We're almost in places. Oh, my virging eyes! This is not a name one gets from one's mother. This is a name one fishes out of a gas station toilet. Let's call you Hoss. Ten seconds. Have funion. And go spring check. Six. Five. Four, four, to black. Three. Vader is still Luke's father. Greetings! I'm Cookie Masterson and I have nothing to say, but I'm yelling it very dramatically! Will you be my Facebook friend? <laughs> and our wrong answer of the game is sponsored by Freezy Freddy's Discount Cryogenics Outlet. Hot prices, cold body parts, what a bargain! <laughs> Alright, let's move. <laughs> Let's start with... That bird's nuts. Bird's nuts? If the Cocoa Puffs Cuckoo Bird went cuckoo for Rococo Puffs, what would be getting him so excited? A totally symmetrical whole grain treat, curving and ornate forms of chocolatey goodness, right angles and metallic squares of fun, or earth tones that make the milk brown. Time's almost up! Well, if you put this answer in a bowl, it would certainly turn the milk brown. Ah! Oh, honestly. Rococo is a style of design and art from the 18th century that utilized curving and ornate natural forms. I never would have pegged Sonny as an admirer of late Baroque style. I always thought that was more of a Fruity Pebbles thing. <laughs> Here's a good one. Wet with anticipation. What might be awarded if the Olympic Committee started giving out a liquid medal for water sports? A magnesium medal in diving, a beryllium medal in water polo, a bromine medal in swimming, or a boron medal in kayaking? Watch the clock. You are boronic. You've been playing this game long enough, you had to know I was going to say that. Here's what a right answer looks like. Out of all these metals, only bromine is liquid at room temperature. I'm actually pretty good at water sports, but not the kind they give awards for. Three, 
Why not try... What the L? And hey, it's a this or that. I'm going to read off seven titles, and for each one, tell me if it's the title of an L. Ron Hubbard book or the title of an LL Cool J song. If it's an L. Ron book, press the square button. If it's an LL song, press your circle button. Each one you get right, I'll move you up 300 OT levels. Get one wrong and your 300 is going back to Cali. And answer quickly, the faster you go, the more engrams you'll reduce. Whatever that means. Ready? Let's go. Final blackout. Go cut creator, go. Dex deputy. The booming system. Under the black ensign. The Kingslayer. Big old bot. Not bad. Unfortunately, all your winnings have to be donated to the Scientologists. While a lot of people know that LL Cool J stands for Ladies Love Cool James, it's surprising how few know that the L in L. Ron's name stands for Lickable. Coming up next, Sexy Talk. Which of these propositions includes a preposition? Let's do it! Kiss me! It's sex time! Or, meet me out back! Despite this being a really good pickup line that I use all the time, it doesn't include a preposition. Oh, you're gonna kick yourself. Out back is a prepositional phrase that tells you where you're supposed to meet me. Other prepositional phrases could be things like, after you get off work, without telling anyone about it, or in the butt. Where's the vibe, girl? Rock my world, girl. Ooh, yeah. Next up, hold my gun, I'm finger painting. A lot of people call Quentin Tarantino an artist. I know I've called him a lot of things. Anyway, if Quentin Tarantino had named the characters in Reservoir Dogs after the primary and secondary colors on the color wheel, which of these main characters could keep his name? Mr. Pink, Mr. Orange, Mr. White, or Mr. Blonde? Where is blonde on the color wheel again? Were you thinking of this one? Orange is made by combining two primary colors, red and yellow, making it a secondary color. Although, don't tell him he's secondary or he might shoot you in the face. We finished round one. And you're sitting pretty for someone so ugly. Keep in mind, all the prizes are doubled in round two. And lest you forget, big cash prizes can be yours if you find the wrong answer of the game. Okay, here it comes. This one's called, People in my dream were dreamy. Jeez, last night I was soaking in the tub after eating a bunch of caviar I got at the discount rack at the dollar store, and I turned on the TV I have by my toilet. I fell asleep while this movie was still playing in the background, and I had the most intense dream. So, it started with me standing on the corner in a sports bra and skirt held together by a safety pin, and my cat mayonnaise pulled up in a sports car. And he asked me for directions. Then he took me to his hotel, where we spent a week together, though I had some rule about no kissing on the mouth, even though he was devastatingly handsome. And he gave me some money to go shopping, and they wouldn't let me into some stores even though I had money to spend in there, but eventually I cleaned up real nice. And then I broke that rule about not kissing on the mouth because we had something real. And then he tried to pay me for my services at the end of the week, but I got really offended because I thought we were more than that, you know? 
And so I went home back to my crappy apartment, and mayonnaise followed me with flowers and climbed up the fire escape, and we lived happily ever after, and it was so wonderful! <sighs> Can you tell me what movie I saw last night? Now, I think it was either Taxi Driver, The Proposal, Leaving Las Vegas, or Pretty Woman. Oh, that's right! All of that happened in Pretty Woman. That movie makes me wish I could just quit my day job, become a prostitute in L.A., and finally work towards finding true love. Question 7! Coming up... Holy trivia, Batman! Which arch enemy would Batman need to avoid if you were allergic to Lysozyme? Mr. Freeze, Poison Ivy, Catwoman, or Egghead? Watch how easy this is. If you're allergic to eggs, Lysozyme is one of the proteins that makes you get all red or itchy or swollen. Or whatever it is you get when you're allergic to eggs. Reminds me of that Christmas song. Jingle bells, Batman smells, Robin laid an egg. Which caused several passers-by to have allergic reactions due to the Lysozyme content of the egg. Yeah, a lot of people are allergic to frozen water. You're gonna melt when you realize what you've just won. A frozen appendage from Freezy Freddy's Discount Cryogenics Outlets. Not everyone can afford to keep their loved ones frozen in perpetuity, so check the great deals on frozen treats at Freezy Freddy's Discount Cryogenics Outlets. Take home a reminder of someone else's loved one. Today's wrong answer of the game is worth a whopping $8,000. Enjoy. Blood and chicken picking out a mate. Guess I'll marry eight. Why not try Ed Hardy Boys? If commercially overexposed tattoo artist Ed Hardy did the cover art for the Hardy Boys books, what would the author credit look like? Carolyn Keene flanked by skulls and sombreros, Richard Adams across a dragon's wings, Franklin W. Dixon spelled out in bones, or Essie Hinton on a surfboard. Another mystery totally bungled. Ready for this? All the Hardy Boys books were written under the pen name Franklin W. Dixon. The title of the Ed Hardy collaboration would be The Case of the Mysteriously Tacky $80 Belt. Buck her up, for Hurricane Babies. Suppose the wrestler Gregory the Hurricane Helms wanted to name his children after Atlantic Ocean Hurricanes. Which of the following could never be one of his brood? Vivian Helms, Quentin Helms, Katrina Helms, or Horatio Helms? Um, seriously? It's so obvious. Hurricanes in the Atlantic Ocean are given names starting with any letters but U, X, Y, Z, or Q. So he also could name his children Muhura, X-Men, Yanni, Zod, or Qbert. Hold me, never let me go. Am I Take a stab at Jack Don't Know Me. Oh, God, I can't believe these DLC packs are almost done. The overtime I put in on this f***ing game. Oh, sure, you're probably like, be thankful you're not Jack Bauer from 24. That guy used to work 24 hours in a row. Sure, but each season was only 24 hours. That's nothing. In fact, if the first five seasons of 24 had taken place during one work week, how much overtime would Jack Bauer have put in? 60 hours, 70 hours, 80 hours, or 90 hours? <laughs> to be fair, I feel like you'd be able to figure out the correct answer if I gave you a full 24 hours. <laughs> no, no, I'll get this. Over the course of five 24-hour days, Jack Bauer would work the equivalent of three full 40-hour work weeks, or 120 hours. So that leaves him with 80 hours of overtime. <laughs> 80 hours. I put in way more overtime than that guy. And I don't even get to cut anybody's head off. Hey, why don't I get to cut off anyone's head?
Where's an intern? Intern! <laughs> Welcome to the attack. When you see two clues that match, press the X button. 4,000 if you're right, but say goodbye to 4,000 if you're wrong. And one more thing. Remember the clue. It's gotta be a match that fits this clue. Road trip. What festival are we gonna find when we get there? Good luck. Okay, you did pretty well, so I'm gonna tell you a cool little secret about the game, but I'm only gonna say this once. Okay, for you old-timers out there, it is possible to launch a gibberish question in this game. Here's what you gotta do. Anytime you... Time it just right or it won't happen, okay? There you go. I know, pretty crazy, right? Good job, everyone. Donnie, what are we doing? All right, then. Have you any tinkling for jumping back into the proceeding? Hi, I'm Garrow Stanton. We at Stanton's Rhyming Dictionary rate our product so high, we really feel it's the best rhyming dictionary money can purchase. Other rhyming dictionaries might say they're the best, but we really feel we're better than all the others. You want rhymes? That's what you need. We've got a book of rhymes that's a pleasure to browse through. So check us out. Our dictionary is truly sublime. It's really the only place to go when you need two words that sound alike. Thank you. Meet Timmy. He's just like you or me. He likes to listen to music, play, make friends. The only difference is Timmy doesn't have a mother or father. Timmy's an orphan. Hi, I'm Timmy. Uh, Tim. My parents died in a tragic car accident when I was just 42. In retrospect, maybe I wasn't in any condition to drive. <laughs> anyway, uh, will you be my new mommy or daddy? I promise to be a good son. I'll keep my room clean and eat all my vegetables. Except for lima beans. Those things give me horrendous farts. Uh, I'll need a car. And it'd be great if you had an extra room or a basement for my drums. There are thousands of Timmy's out there just waiting to find their forever home. If you are ready to start a new-ish family, call the It's Never Too Late Adult Orphanage, because grown-ups are children too. This week on Racist Doctor. Doctor, we're losing him. We've tried everything. Isn't it obvious? This has lupus. But will this be Racist Doctor's last patient? We're gonna have to fire him. Why? He's a terrible racist. But he's an amazing doctor. Don't miss the season finale of Racist Doctor. Give it to me straight, Doc. Am I gonna live? I promise you I'll do everything in my power to save you so you can keep living your miserable life. Uh... Thanks? And nothing can prepare you for the shocking final moments. You suffered a pretty severe blow to the head after that last surgery. I think I may be losing my ability 
to be racist. Racist doctor. Hey ya, hey ya, hey ya! Do you ever feel like your fishy friends get the raw end of every deal? When the chihuahuas are carried around in their Louis Vuitton purses and the labradoodles are on long walks in their fur trim vest, your goldie fish is left in its bowl, naked. So come shop at Fashion Fish Does. We are the country's leading provider of designer fish apparel and accessories. Hat shoes, glasses, pants, underwater styles that'll make your fish look fantastic. Right, Goldie? Come to Fashion Fish Does. Great party, Sarah. Oh, thanks. I've got to ask, though, what's with the mysterious box? Oh, that's a mysterious box from Mysterious Boxes Incorporated. What's in it? Honestly, I've always been a little too afraid to open it, but it makes a wonderful conversation piece. Do you mind if I open it? Well, why not? I've already led a pretty full life. Let's take a look. <laughs> oh. Oh. Huh. Well, that's kind of... Yeah! Mysterious Boxes Incorporated. There will come a time when one will be delivered to you. Hey, buddy. Hey, Jordan. Happy birthday. I know I usually forget to buy you anything, but this year I got you something from the cloud registry. The cloud registry? What's that? I got a cloud named after you. 